Hey, in Shit Talk Reviews, we uh, jumped in real quick because Judas Priest put out a new song last night. When did it drop at midnight? Killer song. Panic Attack. Panic yeah. Attack. It's going to be off their awesome. new album, Invincible Shield. So and... we figured we'd do a, a quick uh, uh, initial response. Well, if it sucked, we wouldn't, right? Wouldn't we? It, it doesn't suck. I'll tell you that. I, I wouldn't want to talk about it if it sucked. I'd be highly disappointed and probably not feeling a feel good Friday. See, now I feel good Friday. Thank you very much. Mm. I feel like it's our duty if it was bad to talk about it, maybe specifically. Especially Judas Priest. I mean, they've been around forever. You it's know. the priest. It's the priest. 18, 19 albums now, still putting out music. It's they're just like a fine wine, John. I just get better with age. <laughs> They're just so good. <laughs> well, on that front, Rob Halford was born in uh, 1951. <clears throat> wow! So, just to yeah. give you an idea, and to be rocking this hard still, and and still have that high pitched, epic scream that yeah. he's always had, and it's here still, 2023, almost 2024. Think about that. It's right. incredible, incredible longevity, um, legends, and Rob sounds great, and that's mm -hmm. awesome. I think with people, I, oh, go ahead, John. No, sorry. no, no, after you. No, I was just going to say, I mean, uh, Screaming of Vengeance it came out in the 80, early 80s, but, but people don't, you know, uh, people don't realize this band's been, they've been putting albums out since like the, what, the mid-70s, right? Like 73, they've been around since like 73, 74 putting albums mm -hmm. out, so... People think, oh, the you know the, the the big radio play hit started in the eighties, but this band has been around for, for forever. It's impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very talented. One might even say tremendously so. Uh, <laughs> Trem tremendous talent. Tremendous. <laughs> there it uh, is. I, I'll say I, I've never been. <laughs> I I've never been a, a huge Judas Priest mm -hmm. fan. Always known him, you know, respect him for what they do. Um, Same here. Yeah. But uh, I was surprised. Now, I will say this is a, a proper initial reaction conversation because I listened to the song one and a half times through mere moments ago. You listened to it about three times now, three times yeah. a half an hour ago. Mm -hmm. You listened to it three, four times on your way uh, yep. you know, in today. Mm -hmm. So it, this is truly, you know, bang. We if, heard it uh, and we're chatting. Hopefully, if. Well, it just seems like we all like it. Hopefully the rest of the album. Well, just... it, it, let's not jump to conclusions. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I would, the thing that, that got me the most was that that synth intro, mm -hmm. which is pretty gnarly. I mean, it, it it has sort of a Jordan Rudess, Derek Sherinian dream theater mm -hmm. kind of intro vibe, which was unexpected yeah. um, for me. I, and I like it. What what I appreciated was the barrage of guitar solos and the dueling guitar solos, yeah. which is what they're known for. They just kept going and they've done that in the past. And that is just such a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A, a signature, a staple of who they are. And it was just awesome to hear it in 2023. Because again, I remember in the eighties listening to Judas Priest going, I love the dueling guitars. That's part of the reason why I love Slayer, but they're still doing it. They're staying with the formula that's worked for them and got them into the rock and roll hall of fame. And it's, it's awesome to hear it still today. And uh, this track, actually, it just hits a home run. Also, I love what the lyrical to uh, topic is, is alien nations gleam, cybertronic schemes, fiber optic, mass hypnotic, wild neurotic memes. Talk about living in the times. Again, he was born in 1950s, and he still understands the world today, and he's making music that's relevant that will resonate with younger folks. Do and we know? Will, do we? Is has he always been the chief uh, songwriter or lyric writer? A vast majority of it. Or yeah. is is it possible that he's contracted it out to uh, uh, some college kid? I'm being I an asshole, of course. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think. That I don't that's think the that's the case. the case. The nice thing about Priest is their 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 songs are so good. They have like um, I'm not comparing them to any other bands because they're in a league of their own. But like ACDC, Metallica, even Cavalera, their riffs are so catchy and so fucking good 
it just draws you in. You know, they have that ability. They're just a testament to the band. It's a very well. I, as I said, I, I've not, I've never been a huge Priest fan. Uh, I I can't say I've heard anything they did that made me go, oh, that's terrible. But right. so I'll ask the question. It it seems to me that Judas Priest has always been Judas Priest. They've n never really deviated and gone off and done, you know, a, a, a crazy rock opera album or anything right. like that. Like a Judas Priest album is a Judas Priest album. Not to discredit the guys that, you know, they're doing what they do really well. They have largely taken the same path that Slayer did. They've actually been longer around longer than Slayer by a big margin. Mm -hmm. And they have been Judas Priest. Do they go down different avenues? Sure. Um, Turbo Lover. <laughs> kind of a little bit different a yeah but even different. that was it was it's a straight ahead mm -hmm. rock kind of four on the floor you know lead they they follow the format right l l largely yes okay yeah, yeah, yeah they're they're a guitar driven rock band and halford can do virtually anything with his vocals he can be low end he can be super high end and he can still do it and he's punching up there with with panic attack do we know the album name that this is coming from yeah, I I I just mentioned you already it say you it? just yeah it's Invincible I'm sorry, I'm Shield. Just, yeah. Well, it's early. It's because you know, John just I wasn't paying attention. Disregarded coffee, that coffee time. It's because I just don't care. That's not true. I do care. <laughs> you gotta care about Judas Priest, or we're gonna fight. I'll, I'll pop well, what we we have a little bit of news we'll get to here in a minute. That it's uh, funny because uh, Screaming for Vengeance came out in eighty one, eighty two, or or one of those, and then the Angels of Retribution came out in two thousand five, or. And those are my two favorite albums. And what a gap from like the eighties to all five, which says, you know, you know, again, it's a testament mm -hmm. to the band. They could come out with music that much later and still it, sounds so good. 2018, yeah. they put out firepower album was amazing. Front to right. back. Evil yeah. never dies. Killer song. Uh, Lightning strike. Great song. Firepower. Great song. It, it is a solid record. And I yeah. thought it was their swan song then. I wasn't expecting to get another album. I really wasn't. And to have something this solid, this, you know, this late in the game. Amazing. And when was that last one you were talking about? 2018. Yeah. Okay. I think, uh, I think him leaving the band too. I didn't, he, he left the band for like 10, 11 years in the nineties. And then when, uh, when he came back, I thought the band was just as, as better than ever. So maybe he needed that break. This is step what's away. The, what's the, the current lineup? Anybody know? I do not know offhand. It, I, yeah. I, uh, I have it here. I actually pulled it up. Um, I think on. Tipton is. I, I thought I read. Oh. There's issues here with him medically. He doesn't really tour as much, but I I think he's in the band still. Yeah, Andy Sneap does a majority of the guitars. He is in Sneap the band is writing. Incredible. Yeah. Andy Sneap is great. Uh, Richie and he's Faulkner. Newer. Yeah. 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 Sneap right? is a producer, yeah. and he loves yeah. Judas Priest, so he joined them to go right. tour the world. And there was talk that he wasn't going to do this record. And uh, he is involved in it along with uh, Tipton, who he fills in for uh, right. Scott Travis, Richie Faulkner, Ian Hill plays bass, and then obviously Rob. Um, it's it's great to see. And I have to do a shout out to Curdy, my my son. He has loved Judas Priest since he was two. And we do this thing called do Judas Priest face. And he's now nine, almost 10. Um, nice. And he just does this thing. He goes, yeah. And we've got a picture <laughs> on our wall at home of him doing Judas Priest face. Nice. And uh, I Dude. think I'm going to try to get them on this tour and take him to his first right metal show, nice. you know, proper Very metal cool. show. Yeah. How about that, Curdy? Getting a little airtime today, just like six last week. It's a big deal. Very big deal. Curdy's <laughs> developed a, a really great taste in music. Yeah, he has. You know, yeah. do uh, largely in part, of course, to, you know, Papa, of course. Papa D here. But uh, yeah, good for him, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, great song. I think we all agree. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, uh, it's a, it's it. a good, uh, it's a good way to see what's, what's coming ahead here. I think it's good things. It sounds like this. When's the record come out? Do you know? Yeah, I don't have the exact uh, date. They're being, I, yeah. and, and they largely are being a little vague about all of it because there's 14 songs. Um, and there's no title names on these as of yet. It just says on track two, track three, track four. Yeah. So nice. they're, they're going to reveal the the shield, if you will, um, on their own pace. And they well, can. they can, they can, yeah, they they can call those shots. They've got the cred. So cool. Yeah. Uh, so real quick, we just wanted to jump on, talk about this, and uh, we'll 
I'll try and get this posted in the next day or so. But uh, we also learned this morning that uh, we have uh, we have some some really cool interviews coming up. We're very excited about. Um, I don't want to give too much away um, as to who they are, but we're very excited. We just learned this morning that um, you know we might uh, we David. Why don't you? Well, I, I don't want to. I don't want to steal any thunder. Listen, we reached out to Fel- Corey Feldman today. Um, for you guys listening, Feldman's been on tour. He's in a band. He's doing Riot. He did Riot Fest. He's doing some other shows. Um, it's it seems legit. So we're gonna try to get Corey on and talk about it. Hey, you guys. Now, why would you do that? Because what if they're listening, Feldman, and they check out our podcast? Did we not see that on the clip? What did Corey himself not do that? I don't know. In that I'm live footage sure. we watched. I'm not sure. I, I can't. Are we going to fight remember. about this? <laughs> it's, it's, there's no reason to put down sloth ever. Right. I mean, you are largely sloth in real life, Dave. Oh, um, but yeah, you can't okay, make fun of it. You Here's can't make fun of sloth. Corey's out there. He's playing music. He's having a good time. And if we he's can get him on and we can talk about what he's doing, what he's up to, what his music's all about. Yeah. Get him on. I mean, who I'd doesn't want to talk to him? Who, who doesn't want to get into Corey Feldman's head a little bit? Corey's the man. He's been around for. He's been around longer than Judas Priest. He's the con- <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> I can't believe that we're tainting, you know, this conversation <laughs> about a great album, and we're going another direction here. Like, let's talk uh, about Invincible Shield and yes. turn on, move on. It's not all about <laughs> you and your desires. Let's turn the page. Great song. Yes, Panic Attacks, awesome. Yes. Feel Good Listen. Friday. Boom. I agree, Eric. I, I got nothing else. All right. Okay. Good talk.